If you're a tourist, you might say this was a good day or a bad day to visit Vizcaya. Anybody home? Good, because for the next four days, it's free admittance to the grounds of this turn-of-the-century villa, reminiscent of Renaissance Italy. Bad, because you can't go inside, unless you're a pest control person. You see, this is the week Vizcaya is being tented for termites. Evidence of termites was found last February in the attic of this mansion museum, once owned by James Deering of international harvester fame, and now described by National Geographic as the most beautiful home in America. Museum people claim there's no immediate danger from these wood-munching pests, that this is just a $15,000 preventive measure. Of course, we like to take care of that matter right away and uh, protect also uh, the, the artifacts we have in the house. But for Bob Brown and his crew of 15 pest controllers, it's their most publicized task to date, with 72 rooms to gas and 45,000 square feet to cover. We're used to doing big buildings. This is all, all we actually do. You might become another Christo. We like to. I like to have his money. <laughs> <laughs> but just because there's a tent covering the mansion, don't let that stop you from visiting Vizcaya. Remember, there's still 10 acres of beautiful Renaissance gardens, and that's still open to the public. Of course, not all tourists who came to see Vizcaya were satisfied with mere pictures in the garden and a tented-up mansion. Who is more interested in seeing inside the house than getting free? But if you consider it as an artwork in itself, call it Vizcaya under pest control, it's worth the trip before it all comes down this Thursday. But then again, that all depends on how artistic your outlook is. John Holden, News 4.